All right, so boom. So as you can see, the entire NBA is in alphabetical order. If you hit here and look at the alphabet, you'll see that it's categorized literally by alphabetical order. So for example, anybody that's to A, they will be a 99 overall. B goes down to 95, C goes down to 90. And then I started doing, once I got like 75, I started going by one. I started going by one after I got a 75. So they progressively get worse and worse the lower the name is in the alphabet. But just for balance reasons and purposes, the potential is in reverse. So it's Z to A, 99 potential. So all these guys down here have 99 potential. Every single one, oh no, it goes 99 to 98 to 97. It goes down by one, just like we did with the overall. And I did make sure to go through every team and change their adjustments so the best players be playing. So yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and start first sim. All right, so we're about 22 games. Now I just wanted to show you, we do have two guys in free agency that are absolute demons. We have Kamala Anthony and Miles Bridges. If they get picked up, they get picked up. And here's just a look at a few teams. Like the Bucks are insane because they got the Antetokounmpo brothers. The Jazz honestly are probably the best team in here, if I'm being honest. The Magic are pretty good as well. And the Raptors are really, really nice. Oh, and also the rookies will not be in alphabetical order. So anybody that comes into the league, it's not gonna be in alphabetical order, so the lower teams will have a chance. All right, here are the all-star teams, and Kyle Anderson is an all-star captain, Lord have mercy. We got some other guys in the all-star game, like Azubuki, how Alvarado, Ananobi, Bancaro. I don't know how he's a two-time all-star, it's his first year in the league. Bach Nice in here, Bertans, yeah. Nothing but A's, B's, and yeah, one C. If you look at the league leaders, it's Giannis, Booker, Curry, LaMelo. Nobody really out of ordinary for the first three, but then you start to get a guy's like Dylan Brooks who's having the 32 points per game. James Bachknight's having the 30 as well. 15 rebounds per game for James Bachknight. Lord have mercy. Jared Allen is averaging 22 and 23. Goodness gracious. All right, and Giannis wins MVP. That should have been expected. Ben Carroll wins rookie of the year. Luka Dodgers won sixth man of the year. He's still getting awards even though the 85 overall. Jared Allen won defensive player of the year. Most improved goes to Benton and Nick Nurse wins coach of the year and the Raptors win 80 games. Lord have mercy, 80 games is insane, bro. Here goes the first team, second team, and the third team. All right, so just looking at it, man, this playoff format is insane. I mean, in real life, the Jazz are one seed right now. Well, they were, they're fighting with Phoenix, just like in real life. And on this side, see the Pistons are two, Raptors are one. All right, so we have a conference finals with the Jazz and the Grizzlies. All right, so the Raptors and the Jazz meet in the finals. This is exactly the matchup that I expected. And yeah, we're probably gonna go game by game for this one. Game one goes to Jazz. They tie it up in game two. Game three goes to the Raptors. Game four goes to the Raptors. We're gonna simcast this one. Yeah, so uh, the Raptors easily get away with this one. Man, if you look at it, bro, everybody, except for Christian Cocoloco, is either A or B. This is insane. Toronto is gonna win another title, even after losing Kawhi. The first title of the Alphabetical League. And uh, yeah, Scotty Barnes leads the Raptors to the championship in the second year in the league. All right, so now we're in the office, and this was going to get interesting because, as you know, it's Z to A for potential. So the guys with Z have not that potential, and it goes down by one to A. But as some of you might know, in 2K, their potential cannot be lower than their current overall. LeBron's trying to retire, but I think I'm going uh, I think I'll make him stay. And I mean, just looking around the league, LeBron's a 62 overall. Westbrook is a 49. Zion is a 50 overall. All right, let's see who's gonna end up with the first pick. And the Brooklyn Nets via Philly. Wow. Man, if this happened in real life, I'd be so happy. So like I said earlier, the draft is not gonna be alphabetical order. So it's gonna be a regular draft just to give people a chance. Man, and the Brooklyn Nets end up with Victor William Bamba. That is a great way to rebuild their team. So they're gonna be adding Vic to this with a 91 overall Claxon with an 86 overall Kevin Durant. That's not too bad. Just looking at player progression right now. I mean, it, this of course is gonna be inflated because of the overall thing, but this is where it gets interesting because the potential is reversed. So there might be some guys making a comeback, making a come up. And as far as I'm seeing, I'm not seeing anybody making a comeback so far, but who knows, maybe later on down the line. All right, so going into year two and things just look about the same. Um, the Bulls do have Costas. I don't, I don't know if they had him before. I don't think they had him before, did they? Yeah, no, so the Bulls added Costas, which is insane. So halfway through the year, the Sixers currently have not won a game. Kyle Anderson goes back to back for the All-Star captain. And yeah, the All-Stars look just about the same as last year. There's nothing but A's and B's and no Curry this time. I see Miles Bridges made his way into the NBA. The Sixers haven't won a game, but somehow the chemistry is on 100. Yo, they do not care about winning over there. They get their first one of the year, 68 games in. 
Yeah, so Giannis goes back to back on MVP, shooting 44% from three. 97% from the line is crazy, bro. That is insane. JD Davidson goes for rookie of the year. I don't, I don't get how this be happening because he he played a year in the NBA already, but that's cool. Victor goes for six man of the year, and Nick Nurse goes back to back for coach of the year. Instead of the Raptors are looking like a powerhouse right now. I'm not gonna lie. We have a game seven, Utah versus the Rockets. They picked up Bruce Brown. They got O'Shea Brissett as well. Josh Christopher. This team is kind of nice. And it looks like the Jazz are gonna go back to back. And they're playing the Magic, so the Magic took out the Raptors, who are the defending champions. The Magic have. Cole Anthony, they picked up Bogdanovich. They also have Will Barton, Van Carroll, and Wendell Carter. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the Magic are nice, bro. And the Jazz ended up winning the championship. I don't know how they beat that Magic team. That Magic team was nice, bro. Look at the, come on, bro. This team is nice, bro. Bamba, Barton, Clarkson, Carter, Bogdanovich, Anthony. Goodness gracious. All right, so let's see who's gonna have a pick in the Warriors and with the number one pick in this next draft. So Bron and James ends up going to the Warriors. That is a crazy turn of events. Man, I know LeBron at home shaking his hair right now because Bronny going to the Warriors, that is crazy. Man, the Bucks are looking real nice, bro. They picked up Julian Champagne and Compazzo. The Bulls lost a lot of people. They did pick up Alexander Walker, but man, Lonzo's not there. Neither is Costas. LeBron's on the Clippers. All right, and just looking around the league, nothing much has changed. I mean, still pretty much everybody in their correct spots. Nobody's really came out the blue with that 99 potential. I knew it probably wouldn't work that well, but give him a shot at least. All right, and Abaji gets his first All-Star captain, taking over Kyle Anderson. And yeah, once again, nothing but A's and B's in the All-Star game. Giannis goes back to back to back for the MVPs. Miles Bridges ran sixth man of the year. And yeah, Nick Nurse gets his third straight coach of the year. Man, the Utah Jazz are playing the Grizzlies. This is going to be a good matchup. These are two really good teams, bro. And the Jazz could have done a five, as I say that. The Raptors added Lonzo Ball, bro. That's cheating, bro. That is cheating, bro. They were the best team in the league before him, and they added him. And, of course, the Raptors 4-1 the NBA Finals. Preston Achua wins Finals MVP after 35 points per game. All right, so that'll probably be it. I mean, if y'all want me to continue this, I can keep going for seasons and seasons. Just let me know, man. Let me know in the comments. You know, drop a little comment. You know, I don't mind doing this. I really don't mind doing it. It took a long time, so make sure you like and subscribe because, you know what I'm saying, it's... It was not easy to, to get these guys in here, man. But, yeah, man. Catch y'all next time. Peace.